Brito. He is the uh, president of TNT Salvage. Now, your company is actually doing the work on uh, trying to get rid of the Golden Ray. Uh, talk about, first of all, this ship and how, how big is it? Because it looks, and scale, it's hard to detect from the coast or even on TV. That's right. Good morning. It, it's, it is hard to tell that that is a ship. It actually looks more like a warehouse on its side. The Golden Ray was about 700 foot long. And it's uh, about 100 foot uh, wide and had the capacity to carry about 6,000 cars. When it capsized, it actually had roughly 4,200 cars on board. So imagine a parking lot with 4,200 vehicles in it. That's how big it so was. Part of your job is actually getting those cars uh, off of the uh, off the ship, and then you know eventually getting rid of the ship. That's right. The operation is aimed at basically recycling the entire wreck and the entire cargo of cars. So we have to very carefully, with careful planning and engineering, remove the wreck sections and the vehicles. So right now the ship is actually laying on its side and those kind of uh, rusted brown looking things in the distance, those are what, uh, cranes you've installed? Those are called the lifting logs. We had 16 of them. They were engineered, custom engineered for, uh, for each of the wreck sections that we're lifting. They weigh about 70 tons apiece and they were built at three different yards around the world. Wow. So in this area where this uh, boat has kind of wrecked here, we, we have sensitive environmental areas, we have beachfront property, uh, there's probably a lot of hazardous material uh, on that ship right now. How are you dealing with that? So one of the main things that were first carried out on this job was to install what's called the EPB, the Environmental Protection Barrier, which you can see all those piles that go around the wreck, encircle the wreck with protection boom as well as netting, subsurface netting, that contains debris, but it also allows marine life to swim freely through it. So this thing uh, capsized or shipwrecked in uh, September of 2019. When were you guys first called on the scene and when did kind of the removal uh, begin? We, we began the wreck removal process in early 2020, January 2020 is when we first started mobilizing to the site. And since then we've done the engineering, the planning, the installation, fabrication of the lugs and commence the operation. We have three more cuts to go. We've done a total of four so far. Okay, so it is May 2021. When do you expect to think that this thing will be gone from the area? We have several more months to go. Uh, of course, we're entering weather, and that's one thing we can't control, weather. So yeah, talk about this, because another hurricane season. Last year we had uh, you know, some storms threaten the area. So uh, how do you deal with, with the threat of hurricanes? Part of our business is to be very weather sensitive and very weather knowledgeable. We have a heavy weather plan that we've implemented. We implemented it last year during the last season. It successfully proved that it works. We've, we've refined it, we've updated it, and we're ready for it. And how many men and women do you have working on this thing? So total, right there offshore, the offshore team is about 120, and we have another 50 people on, on, the, uh, on the shore side providing them the support and management, uh, you know, support to logistics and food and bullets and everything else. <laughs> so uh, have you ever worked on a ship this big before? We have worked on bigger ships than this one, but never in this condition and certainly not in St. Simon Sound. So what's very unique about working on this and what can people see uh, on the show coming up in a couple of weeks? You're going to see some very interesting engineering and certainly some of the heaviest lifts ever done in marine salvage. Would you see there the yellow crane is called the VV 10,000. Each section of the ship weighs an average of 6,000 tons. And that's really hasn't been done before. <laughs> Amazing. So we're looking forward to seeing that. Uh, Mauricio Guerrero, thank you so much. Thank you. With TNT Salvat, the president of that company. And uh, again, we'll have a brand new uh, series debuting tonight uh, called Deep Water Salvage. And the episodes uh, dealing with this debut in about three weeks here. But yeah, we're, what? Uh, less than four weeks away from the beginning of hurricane season and uh, this is going to have a big impact if this ship is still here if we have a storm threatened here again the, uh, the the forecasts are already out for hurricane season maybe has it right around average but it doesn't matter above average below average it only takes one hurricane to have impact if you are in the area where it makes landfall <laughs>